One Friday evening, the telephone rang in early Bird Cottage. Little Miss Late picked it up. Hi, Miss Late speaking. Oh, <laughs> hello, Mr. Silly here. <laughs> I've, I've been given some um, tickets, tickets uh, boom, 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 for a disco tomorrow night. Uh, now, would, would you uh, would you like to come? <laughs> oh. Yeah, great. What a wonderful idea. Oh, righty ho ho. <laughs> I'll, I'll meet you at um, uh, 7 o'clock outside the disco. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. And she put the phone down. Saturday arrived and Mr. Silly waited outside the disco. He waited and waited and waited some more. Poor Mr. Silly went home. Next day, Mr. Silly went to see Miss Late. After a while, she opened the door. Hi, Mr. Silly. I thought we were going to meet outside the disco. Oh, dear. Late for this, late for that. Miss Late was late for everything. For instance, last year, do you know when she celebrated Christmas Day? January the 25th. One month late. Happy Christmas! Oh, sorry. For example, do you know when she did her spring cleaning at Early Bird Cottage? In the summer. Three months late. Hi, happy Easter! Oh, <laughs> sorry. For instance, do you know when she went on a summer holiday last year? In winter. In December. In the snow. Six months late. Hi, wish you were here. Oh, sorry. Just along the road, almost next door, was Two Pin Cottage, where a friend of hers lived, Little Miss Neat. Little Miss Neat had decided that afternoon to go for a walk. As she came to Early Bird Cottage, she noticed Miss Late in her garden, up to her ears in long grass. She called over the fence to her. Hello, what are you doing? I thought I'd cut the grass. Miss Neat looked over the hedge. I think that you should have thought about that months ago. I tell you what, let's go shopping together tomorrow. Oh, great idea. I'll meet you in town on the corner of Main Street tomorrow afternoon, two o'clock. You're great, I'll be there. The following afternoon, Little Miss Neat stood on the corner of Main Street. It was two o'clock, and she was waiting for Miss Late. And she waited, and waited, and waited some more. Mr. Topsy Turvy walked past, backwards of course. Afternoon good. Finally, Miss Late arrived. Hi, I'm a bit light on Friday. <laughs> A bit late. It's six o'clock and all the shops are shut. Sorry. And that's what happened all the time. It happened when Miss Late decided to take a job. Her first job was in a bank. But the trouble was, by the time she arrived for work... Hi. ...the bank had closed. Sorry. And that was the end of her first job. Her second job was working as a waitress in a restaurant. Mr. Greedy was in for lunch, and he glanced at the menu. Oh, good. Uh, uh, yes, I'll have um, um, everything. Twice with chips. <laughs> he was still waiting to be served at seven o'clock that evening. So he went home. Sorry. And that was the end of a second job. Her third job was working as a secretary for Mr. Uppertier. I'd like these letters typed before I go home this evening. 
It was four o'clock in the morning when Miss Late said, Finished. Yes, you certainly have. Sorry. And that was the end of her third job. But now, at last, Miss Late has managed to find herself the perfect job. Now she works for Mr. Lazy, cleaning his house and cooking his meals. And little Miss Late, being little Miss Late, is always late for work. So she doesn't arrive for work in the morning. She arrives as Mr. Lazy gets up. Good afternoon, Miss... Oh, sorry, sorry, Miss Slate. <laughs> Hi. And Mr. Lazy, being Mr. Lazy, doesn't have breakfast in the morning like you or I do. He has breakfast in the evening. Great. So you see, it all works very well. Very well indeed. Mr. Lazy. Mm -hmm. Team. Oh, great.